Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello everyone, this is Danny Lambert with Plush Republic. Today I'm going to be walking you through uh, when to use a Pardot form handler and how to use a Pardot form handler as opposed to a Salesforce web to lead form uh, or even a standard Pardot form. So the most important distinction here is uh, you have next to no flexibility with a Pardot form on a landing page that wasn't built within Pardot. It essentially uh, gives you an embed that you can embed on your page, but you have very little ability to style the uh, Pardot form if you were embedding it, say, on your WordPress site or for any other page that was built uh, not within Pardot landing pages. Uh, if you are using Pardot landing pages, I would probably end up using their forms, but for any other instance where you would want to have a form on your website that is very nicely styled and then also be able to relay that information uh, into Pardot, a Pardot handler, a form handler is a great choice. So I'll quickly run you through uh, how to create a Pardot form handler and then how to connect it uh, and show you what options you have available. So once you log into Pardot, you'll want to come to Marketing, Form, and then Form Handlers. Within here, you'll click Add Form Handler and you'll give it a name. So I'll just call this one Test Form Handler. Da, da, da. And you pick a campaign. I put in a test campaign. And then from here you have a couple of options. Uh, kiosk mode uh, is not doesn't cookie the browser. So say you were at a trade show and you had a bunch of people filling out the form and you didn't want it to remember the information that was input, you would select that. I leave it unchecked. Um, if you enable data forwarding to the success location, so you want to forward uh, certain information along in the UTM parameters. This can be very effective uh, if you have a little bit more advanced skills and you're looking to, to implement a specific use case for that. But in this case, I'm going to keep that disabled. Uh, and this one I also just don't need to check. So for success location, I would pick a specific URL that I want to redirect to upon success. So say I want to redirect, uh, in this instance, to the Care Cloud homepage, usually this would be a thank you page, um, but for this instance, to make it very obvious if it's a success or a failure, I'll just redirect to you know, the Care Cloud homepage. Uh, and then the error location, I'll just leave it as the referring URL. So if I have an issue with the form handler, it'll bring them back to uh, the page where the issue occurred. So what's powerful about using form handlers in the exact same fashion that you have when you use a Pardot form is all the completion actions. So I can immediately add this person to a list or a Salesforce campaign, I can adjust their score, uh, notify a user, whatever other action that I would typically want to take, I still have that exact same functionality with the form handler as I would have with a standard Pardot form. Uh, for right now, I'm not going to set any of this for simplicity's sake, but there's a lot of flexibility and cool things that you can do within here with these completion actions. So the last thing I need to do to set the form is uh, set up the field that I'm going to be passing along. For this, I'm just going to be doing uh, email and company name, I guess. Text required. Um, and you can set up as many fields as you want from within your Pardot org. The only thing that is uh, necessary is that these fields are already created within Pardot, so you can relay that information to it. Um, I'm going to edit this one real quick. Make it lowercase. Um, so then now, all I need to do is uh, relay the information from the form that I'm creating to this Pardot form handler. So in this case, I've just mocked up a very basic uh, HTML form, right? Your standard form will have its input, its actions, um, and all you need to do here is match the name fields for the input. So I have one type of text company field and one type of email email field and I need to match the name on those inputs with the fields in my form handler. So lowercase email, lowercase company, I match those up as you see here. Then the last thing that you need to do is once you create the form handler, it'll give you that endpoint that you need. 
I guess I already had one uh, with that name. So once you've created it, it gives you the endpoint URL, which will just come in here and you'll copy. And that will be the action for your form, right? I'll submit it to that URL. And after all that, I just save it. The action goes to that endpoint. The name of each of the matching fields have to be equal. And then after that, it should, uh, it should just work. So if I go back to my finder, open up that in the browser, here's that form, right? This would be a nicely stylized form on your site. But company, I'll just call it test company. And then I'll do test company email at gmail.com. Actually, I'll do a different email address that's technically valid, and then I'll hit submit. So when I submit this, if I get the Care Cloud homepage, I know it's a success. If I get redirected to the page where I submitted it, I know it's a failure. So this indicates that it was successful. So if I go ahead and close this, and I search for that uh, email address, it should be in here now. And I found it, and it shows form handler. I submitted the test form handler. So the information came through. If I click on that, it'll bring back to the form handle that I just created, and you can see there's the contact with the company name that I just submitted. So as you can see, this adds a lot of flexibility. You can use your custom forms on your website and not be restricted by the iframes of the standard part out forms and have all of the functionality that you would have from a traditional part out form on your own site. Uh, so if you have any questions, just let me know. Hopefully this is helpful. Have a great day.